Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you so much for joining me here. Um, this is going to be a look at your next major relationship and exactly what it's going to be like. So I'm not going to be describing the person per se um, this time. I'm going to actually just be showing you guys um, what your next relationship will just be like or overall. Okay. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. You already know. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you would like to see more of my readings. And let's get into it. So give me a next major relationship spread for my Aries. What is their next major relationship going to be like? What is my Aries next major relationship going to look like? Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the first card is going to be what they're like. We have the nine of Pentacles. Um, how you will meet. We have the chariot. Your first impression of them. I have the Empress. What kind of relation this, uh, relationship this would be? We have the Knight of Cups. The obstacles that may come up, I have the Page of Swords. The outcome, we do have the Three of Cups. And what will you learn ultimately from this connection? And we have the Five of Wands. Okay. Um, and then let me lower this a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, because I feel like there you go. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So the first card being what they will be like. So for one, they will be single. <laughs> this person will be single. This person will not be attached to anyone else. So that's really good. I'm glad that this came out. Um, this person is going to be someone who really likes to focus on themselves in the first place. Um, they may have either just recently got out of a relationship or they've been out of a relationship. But with the nine of Pentacles, they, when you meet them, they will be their main focus. Um, and this is somebody who makes themselves the main priority anyways, regardless of if they're in a relationship or not. Um, especially when it comes to securing their coin, um, and their financial security here. Um, Hmm. This person, for some of you, this person may even be a Sagittarius, but this person they value their sense of freedom and like I said, they may be in their primes in terms of like them making money and them really making that a priority for them. Okay. Um, all right. So then how will you meet them? We have the chariot. Um, so you will meet this individual for some of you while you're like driving to go somewhere. So you may meet this person like in traffic. Um, this could be. like you needing help with groceries or something like that. And then this person offers to help. Um, this could be like at a car show specifically. While you're walking your dogs, you guys could run across this individual. Um, those are just some of the scenarios. Um, or while you're like running errands or something, I'm getting like this errand vibe. <laughs> Now, your first impression of them, we do have the Empress. Um, so your first impression may be that they got money. For some of you, like, again, this person may be very career focused and they may have actual money. Um, with the Empress, also for some of you guys, your first impression may be, um, I wonder what's happening with the mother of their child or the father of their child because this person may have a child. You may meet this person while they have their child with them. And you may be wondering, like, oh, I wonder what's happening with that situation or even possibly thinking that they may still even be with the person they may have children with, but that may not be the case. Um, oh, your first impression also may be that this person's extremely mature. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, Aries, excuse me. Um, now, when it comes to what kind of relationship this would be, I do have the Knight of Cups. So, hmm. With the Knight of Cups, this is the energy of somebody being like Prince Charming. 
for instance, and then also, okay, so this is like somebody being the Prince Charming type where they know how to say all the right things and do all the, or say all the right things, but when it comes to action, it may be a little fickle. Oh, so for some of you, this could be you getting into this emotional energy of liking this person, yes, and feeling like they're Prince Charming in certain ways, but then kind of wanting to pull back because you're unsure. For others of you, this could even be this person. But if you know that you have some like serious trust issues or something like that, this is very much you. Okay, so um, one thing I will say to you is to make sure that you're not letting your personal trust issues stop you from developing a really good relationship with someone now the outcome of you dealing with this individual i do have the page no not outcome excuse me the obstacle um is the page of wands. i mean page of swords excuse me um so with the page of swords being the obstacle this is somebody saying things or doing things out of like like wanting to test the other person. So for some of you, like if you have like a really bad history of dating people that are like, let's just be honest, trash. And then you meet this person and then they seem like normal and not like they have problems. Some of you may be like trying to test this person to see like, oh, okay, does this person truly have problems? And some of you need to not do that. Okay. Cause you may create a problem that's not even there. Um, the page of swords is also like somebody having a slick mouth or saying things without really having a regard of what they're saying. So this is like divulging too much information when you first meet someone. Some of you have a problem with that where like you tell them all your business, like why you, you know, have such a hard time in your love life and all your traumas and stuff like that. So you guys need to stop doing that too. Um, this is like petty arguments. So the obstacle that may come up is petty arguments. So stay clear of that as well. Now, the next card I want to talk about is the outcome of this connection. And we have the three of cups. So for a lot of you, um, this may actually result to you guys either getting married to this individual or for some of you, it may be more of a situation where um, it's more casual for some time. OK, so some of you, this is either going to result to serious commitment or it's going to result to you guys kind of just playfully dealing with each other because the three of cups is like that playful energy. This is also that third party energy. So what I will say is if some of you um, don't want to be in a third party situation, the second that you, you know, get an inclination of a third party situation trying to, you know, attract you in, stay clear of it. OK, but with this three of cups, this is more casual um, for some of you and for others of you, this may actually result into marriage. I, I really do see that. Now, the last card is going to be what you're going to learn ultimately from this next major relationship. And with the five of wands, this is to not let your inner confliction make you project problems that aren't there and then create problems. So this is like you internally being conflicted about somebody and then that internal confliction becomes outward and then your person and you are fighting with each other and then it creates problems. So this is steering clear of that. Um, some of you also, what you will learn from this relationship is that some of you are a little too competitive in terms of like, you know, trying to be the boss in the relationship or trying to be the person that, you know, is like in control and that's not going to work. But this is what I see Aries. I hope that I kind of put things in perspective for you and gave you clarity in terms of your next relationship. If you did enjoy this reading, definitely make sure you thumbs this video up and subscribe. Check out the description if you would like a personal and I will see you in the next one.